Hello, this is Sasha from Femex with a few words about flights and their paths over the globe while comparing them to paths over a flat earth. Most flight paths are easier to explain or understand on a flat earth map, even though there is no official flat earth map yet in existence. We mostly use the Gleason's map for these and similar purposes. One example would be the famous Chinese airline stopover in Alaska for a woman in labor. A baby was born on a flight from Bali to Los Angeles. The pilot made an emergency landing in Alaska instead of continuing to Los Angeles, which, on a globe, would be the same distance. On a flat earth map, it makes much more sense, as shown in this example. Then we have the connection between Sydney, Australia and Santiago, Chile. It is such a waste of time and fuel to fly from Santiago north over North America just to come down south again to reach Sydney, or the other way around. Ridiculous. They could cut the travel time by two-thirds if they could go straight across the Pacific Ocean. But as it shows here, it looks reasonable on a flat Earth map. Another example would be a flight from Cape Town in South Africa to Buenos Aires in Argentina. Look how absurd this flight path looks on a globe. One would imagine that there are not enough passengers, so they pick more on the way. But these routes would definitely not be profitable either way. They don't even have a direct flight between these two cities. But on a flat Earth map, it looks much more logical. Mavos tried moving South America a bit and got results which would explain much of this. Here is how he did it. The last example I'll show you is the flight from Johannesburg, South Africa to Perth, Australia. I left this one for last because it has some strange connections with 20 hours layovers and such. Plus, it is known that the airplanes flown in the southern routes are modified versions in several ways. So those could fly at higher speeds, higher altitudes, with less atmospheric resistance, plus the maps are incorrect, so the flight paths might be different completely and much easier to understand on a correct map. So there's my humble two cents on these inexplicable flight paths. Thanks for your attention and time. Please do your own research and don't blindly believe anything. This is Sasha from Femix, sending love for all.